Are you there? I say praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We bless the Lord and we thank the name of the Lord for the opportunity He's given us for us to approach you at this time. I want to thank the name of the Lord for all His benefits, His love over our lives. And I believe in God today that God Almighty will visit every one of us as we join hand in hand together, as we intercede and we pray for the church, for our lives, for our family. Believe in the Lord. The Lord will bless every one of us in Jesus' name. Amen. And also I'm believing that after this uh, hour of victory, Wherever they have been defeat in any of our members, wherever they have been failure or disappointment or limitation or setback, after this hour of victory, every one of us will be connected to the, uh, to the, to the power of victory and dominion and authority in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's have a word of prayer together. Our Father, we thank you because where two or three are gathered together in your name. The Bible says, there you are in the midst of them. And we are believing you this morning that by your power, you are going to visit every one of us as we join hand in hand together as we lift up holy hands up to heaven. We are believing you that you are going to visit us in a new way in Jesus' name. Amen. And after this hour of victory, every one of us will be connected and then we will become victors and we have dominion, we have power, we have authority, and whatever have defeated any of us, after this hour of victory, we go back to become a victor in Jesus' name. Amen. We just commit all our members and all our friends, all our colleagues, and everyone of us together into your hands. And those who will be joining us later, we pray that you will connect every one of us, you will unite our spirits, unite our heart, unite us together as we intercede. As we pray, as we as, as we look up to look up to God, we pray. We are asking that there will be a divine visitation in our life in Jesus' name. Amen. Bless every one of us, even right now. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. I want us to close our eyes and also bless the Lord and thank God for the opportunity He's granting us. Let's open our mouths. Let's appreciate Him for His love over our hearts, over our lives. The Bible says, Praise the Lord, for the Lord is good and His mercies endure it forever. Let's open our mouths. Let's worship the name of the Lord. Let's magnify Him for His goodness over our lives for his protection. The Lord has kept us. The Lord has protected us. The Lord has made us to be a partaker of this day. Not everyone that desire to see this particular day have the opportunity to be alive today. That is why you must open your mouth and say, God, I thank you. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your protection. Thank him for the gift of life. Thank him because you are alive today. It is the Lord mercy that you and I is not consumed. Praise the Lord. Our God is good. Open your mouth and I show appreciation to the God of heaven. Thank him so much. Give him the praise. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And forget not all his benefits. 
Forget not all his benefits, the benefit of his protection. Forget not all his benefits, the benefit of his preservation. Forget not all his benefits, the benefit of his provision in your life and your family. Don't forget that. Bless the Lord for the benefit of God in your life. Give him the praise. Our God is good. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgiveth all thy iniquity? Who healeth all thy disease? Who redeemeth thy life from destruction? Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercy? Who satisfy thy mouth with good things, so that thy youth is renewed like the eagle? Give him the glory. Appreciate him. Celebrate him. Magnify him. Adore him. Give him the praise due unto him. He's worthy of our praise. Look at the goodness of God in your life. Look at how God has believed by you from death. How God has believed by you from destruction. How God has delivered you from, 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 from sickness. How the Lord has delivered you from affliction. Give him the glory due unto his name. Our God is a good God. Magnify the Lord. Worship him in the beauty of his holiness. Give him the praise. God has been so good to you and to your household. He has kept you alive. He has protected you alive. He has given you the victory and dominion. Our God is a good God. What shall we render for all his benefits? What shall we render for all his goodness? What can we render? I want to thank, I want to, I want you to open your mouth and show him the praise. We always, we always bless you. God is a good God. He's a good God. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. Father, we worship you. Father, we glorify you. Father, we exalt you. Let your name be massive. Let your name be glorified. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to spend some time to intercede for the church in Charlotte over there in the United States. We are going to pray for that church, that the Lord God Almighty will give that church an open door of, of souls. Let's pray for the church, Charlotte, church over there in the United States. Let God give that church open door for souls, open door for souls, that the souls of men will be, will, will be, will, will, will be directed to that place of worship. Open your mouth and pray. The church over there, Charlotte Church over there in the United States, oh God, give that church an open door. Open door for souls. The ark of men should be called to the Lord in that place. The souls of men should come to see the Lord Jesus Christ in that place. Oh God, give us open door in that church, Charlotte over there in the United States. Open your mouth and pray. The kingdom is of the Lord and is the governor among the nations. Oh God, be us open door in that church over there. Shall not short in the United States over there. Oh God, be us open door. Let the heart of men be turned to the Lord. Let the heart of man turn to the Lord. Open your mouth and pray. That church must grow. That church must grow. Let's call upon the Lord. The Lord will give that church open door. Open door of souls. Open door of men and women that will come to see the face of the Lord. Oh God, give us souls. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray for all those who have stopped coming to that church, that location church, that church over there. All of our members who have stopped coming and invitees who have stopped coming. Let's pray for them that the God of heaven will toss their heart and God will bring them back to that church. Open your mouth and pray. All those who have stopped coming to the church because of one reason or the other, let's pray God will toss the heart of the people. If you know their name, mention their name. Let God pour the heart of all our members who have stopped coming to that church. Oh God, move upon the heart of the people in that church. In that side of church over there in the United States. Those of our members who have stopped coming, our visitors who have stopped coming, let the Holy Ghost move their heart. 
the heart of a king is in the hand of the Lord. They go move the heart of the worshiper. They go move the heart of the people in that place. All the people have stopped coming to that church on, on Monday Bible study. They are not they are not connected. Thursday, we don't see them in the prayer meeting. On Sunday, they are just wanting to stand here and there. Well, oh God, turn their heart to righteousness. Turn their heart to the place of rest. Turn their heart to the place of worship. Oh God, move upon the heart of those who have stopped coming. Restore back the backslider in the name of Jesus. Restore back the backslider in the name of Jesus. Oh God, walk upon the earth. The Bible, the acts of me. And I will give thee the eagles for thy inheritance. And the earth was part of the earth for their possession. We are asking for the souls of men in that place. The source of pain in that place, oh God, give us an open door in that church. Give us an open door in that church, in that place. That Lord, oh God, church, oh God, give us an open door in the name of Jesus. And by God must be kept out of the life of the people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray for the members in that church. Whatever may be the obstacles and embargo. Satan has placed upon the uh, upon the people. Maybe the husband told the wife, no, don't go to that church again. Or the wife told the husband, don't go to that church again. Every such member in that category, let's pray God will touch their heart. Holy God will release them. The power of God will trouble them. Or to they surrender their life to Jesus and they will join the people of God in that place. Open your mouth and pray. God will touch the heart of some people. The people that, that, that they never put embargo in their life and their husbands say, don't go to that church. The wives say, don't go to that fellowship again. Let God touch the heart of such people. Let the Holy Ghost turn their heart back to the Lord. Let God turn the heart of, touch the heart of such people. Oh God, turn their heart back to you. Holy Ghost, turn their heart, oh God, to Calvary. In the name of Jesus. Those who have, those, those their husband told not to go to that church again, and their wife told their children not to fellowship with the people in that church over there. Lord, move their heart to righteousness. Move their heart to Calvary. Those their heart, oh God. Turn their heart to the will of righteousness. Turn their heart to the will of truth. We are asking you, Father. We are praying, Father. You will arrest such hearts. You will arrest such family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and pray. Let's call upon the Lord. And let's ask the Lord to walk in the mighty way. In the life of our members in that church. They must grow. They must be connected. Whatever disconnect those members not to be punctual. Whatever, dis- whatever disconnect our members not to not to be steadfast. Oh God, we pray you will deliver them. Oh God, we pray you will close their eyes. Oh God, we pray you will break every fetters and chuckles out of their life. Oh God, we pray you will move their heart to righteousness. Open your mouth and pray. The Lord will touch them. Those who have stopped connecting to our GS message Bible study or online, the Lord will connect them back again. Those who have stopped coming to our Sunday worship service online, the Lord will connect them back again. Let's call upon the Lord that those who have stopped coming to, to worship with the people in that Charlotte church over there, the Lord will touch their heart, they will, they will be restored back to fellowship. They will be restored back to fellowship. Almighty God, we are committing the people into your hand. The backslider in our midst, they will be restored. The prodigal daughter will come back home. The prodigal soul will return back home. Lord, we are asking their heart will commit their heart into your hand. Walk upon their arms and upon their lives. Open your mouth and pray. Let God begin to walk upon their heart, upon their life. Open your mouth and pray. The Spirit of the Lord will walk mightily upon their heart, upon their life. All embargo will be eradicated. All obstacles will be eradicated. Out in the life of the members, out in the life of the people. Pray and talk to God in prayer. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible says, upon the rock I build the church. The gate of fear will not prevail against it. We are still praying for the church, the shallow church over there. All the activity of Satan against the life of the members. All the activities of demons against the life of our invitees, of our members and the people we are witness to. We are going to pray that the power of God will destroy it out of their life and God will break every chakras and fetters 
and the Holy Ghost will, will release the people to join us tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray for them now. Upon the rock, I pray the church. The gate of faith will not prevail. All the activities of the devil in the life of our members. Every spirit of embargo he has placed upon the members not to be coming again. Oh God, take those embargo away. All the fetters break the fetters. All the tackles take the tackles away. In the name of Jesus. We are asking, we are praying. The power of the Lord will bring us together. Oh, we are about to pray. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the Lord. Call upon the, Lord. the power of God will bring us together. We break every yoke and we set them free. The Lord will bring them to all of us in the Lord's territory. And those who normally connect to the internet, they will, be, they, will, they will connect with the general superintendent. Oh, we are about to pray. That God will manifest His power in that church, in Charlotte Church over there in the United States. Oh God, and complete the church. Not the heart of all the people we are inviting. Not the heart of all the people who have stopped coming. Not the heart of all our members. Make them set fast. Make them be established in the name of Jesus. And God will be taking out of the life of the people in the name of Jesus. Pray and call upon the Lord. The God began to do something great in the life of the church, in the life of the member, in that place of our members. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray for the members of that church as well. The Bible says, in righteousness shall that be established. We pray for all the members of that church in Charlotte over there. Let God establish all of them in righteousness. No backsliding again. Every door of backsliding will close it down. Let's open our mouth and pray that God will establish all our members in that church in righteousness. Open your mouth and pray now for all the members in that church in Charlotte, Church of the United States. Open your mouth and pray. God establish them in righteousness. God establish them in righteousness. The Bible says righteousness shall be established. For oh God establish your church in righteousness. Oh God, take the church to a next level. Oh God, give the church victory over every temptation and trial that come upon the life of the members. Let everyone desire righteousness and let everyone be established in righteousness and in holiness that will seek righteousness all the days of their lives. We are asking your Father. It's our prayer, it's our desire that the people be established in righteousness. Oh, we must have prayed for all the members in the shallow church over there. Let God establish them in righteousness. Let the Holy Ghost establish them in holiness. Righteousness will come there. They watch what in the day and night. Victory over sin. Victory over temptation. Victory over prayer. Victory over tribulation. Victory over, 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 over iniquity. God will give all the members victory. Open your mouth and pray. The must be established in righteousness. Iniquity will not have dominion over the members of the people. No more falling and rising again. Let God establish never in righteousness. All upon the Lord. The church must grow. And the members in that must be, must be established. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Jesus Christ said the harvest truly is plenteous. But the neighbors are few. They pray therefore. The Lord of the harvest will set forth neighbors into the feed of the harvest. We are going to pray. That church needs workers. Committed workers. Set fast workers. Dedicated workers. We are going to pray. God will send missionaries. God will send workers in that church that, that they will build up the, the, the life of the people, the life of the member. Let's open our mouth and pray. God will send forth neighbors in that, in, in that church, particularly in that church, a shadow church in the United States. Let God send forth neighbors, people with vision, men of holy faith, men with power, with authority. Men that will do exploit for God's kingdom and for his glory. Oh God, the harvest through this plenty of but the neighbors are few. You commanded us, pray therefore, the Lord of the harvest, he will set forth neighbors into the feet of the harvest. We are asking you, oh Lord, set forth neighbors, committed neighbors, set forth neighbors, consecrated neighbors, set forth neighbors. 
dedicated soul winner, missionaries, men with vision, men with authority, men with power, men that will do exploits for God and for his kingdom, men that will build up the kingdom of God, men that, men that will build up the, the church of Jesus, men that will pull down the territory of Satan and rise up the tabernacle of God's kingdom upon the earth of men. Oh God, send forth neighbors upon that church, the church needs more camp, the church needs more church needs evangelists, the church needs prophets, the church needs a Apostles, they just need, they just need workers. They need people that will save for our toy for God's kingdom. The and the God, the church, and the work over the God was revive the world, revive the work of God in the midst of the year, revive the workers, revive the members. Let's call upon the Lord and God will say revival in that church. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. The the Sami said. We dare not revive us again, that thy people may rejoice in thee. Our joy is in the Lord. Our joy is in the Lord. That's what the psalmist was pleading with the Lord. Oh God, he said, we need revival. We are going to pray for that church in Charlotte over there. Let God say revival, revival in that church. Revival in the midst of all the members. Revival of righteousness. Revival of evangelism. Revival of prayer. Oh God, say revival in that church in Shabbat Church. Oh, we are about to pray for that church right now. Let God say revival in that church. Oh God, we need revival. We need revival in that church, Shabbat Church over the United States. We shall not revive us again. We need Holy Ghost revival. We need Costa revival. Oh God, revive the members in that church. Revive us. We shall be revived. Revival of prayer. Revival of evangelism. Revival of soul winning. Revival of church plans. Oh God, we need revival. We you not revive us today. Our joy is in the Lord. Our joy is not in any maintained thing. Our joy is in the Lord. We are asking for revival. We are praying for revival. Our eyes are praying for revival. We wait for revival. We start for revival. We seek for revival. Holy Ghost revival. Let the Ghost revival. Revival with a new devil, revival with dominion, revival with authority, revival with power, revival from above. We are asking for revival. Will you not revive us? Oh God, we are waiting. Oh, put your mother and pray. Let God revive the church, revive the members, revive the workers, revive the people, and let God awake every member in that church over there. Oh, put your mother and pray. The church cannot go without revival. The people cannot go all without revival. They cannot go without revival. Except for revive the people. Let's call upon the Lord. We are asking for revival. The Lord must revive us. We cannot proceed. We cannot go ahead without revival. What can we do without the Spirit of God, without the power of God upon our lives? We need your power to descend upon our knees. Open your mouth and pray. He open your mouth and pray that God will send revival in that church over there. All the dryness we give away for life. Everything that has become dead, revival of resurrection power will bring them back to life. Everything that they become dormant, all the cause we activate them back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ, let go, let go, let go, let go. All the fetters must be broken, all the shackles must give way. The spirit of life must come upon the heart of all the worshippers. The spirit of revival must come the heart of all the worshippers. Let your people go and serve you. Let, let them go freely. We need them to go from everybody. Let's come upon the Lord and pray for that church. They shall not talk about the air. They go send a wicked revival in that church. They go send a wicked revival in that church. There must be a change in that church. There must be a torch in the life of all the members. There must be a transformation in the heart, in the life of all the members. Let's pray and the Lord. Let there be addition. Addition of souls in that church. Let there be addition. Addition of membership in that church. Let there be addition, addition of soul serving power in that all. Let there be addition, addition of people coming to the kingdom of God in that all. Let's call upon the Lord. Let's ask the Lord that the Lord will save souls in that church of that year. There must be an addition of souls. 
add this lost soul. Oh God, give us the source of men. Oh God, give us the source of men. Give us the source of men in that church. In the name of Jesus, let's pray and call upon the Lord. In the days of his power, the people shall be willing. And this is the day of the power of God. When God will walk upon the earth of men and women. This is a day of the power of God. We God will transform the life of people to a to a to, 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 to a new level. Revival is coming in the call. It's coming in the call upon all the members, upon all the followers. In the name of Jesus Christ. That church must come to life. That church must not must not close down. The God will give us open door in that ministry, that church over the air. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray for all the members in that church, in Charlotte Church over there. We are going to commit into the hands of the Lord those who are discouraged. Holy Ghost, we encourage them. Amen. Holy Ghost, we comfort them. Amen. Let's open our mouth and pray for those who are discouraged in our midst. Let's pray that the Lord will comfort them and encourage them. The spirit of discouragement, God will take it away from the life of the people. The spirit of discouragement will be eradicated away from the life of the people. Those who are discouraged, stop, they, they stop coming. Ask the Lord, let God take away the spirit of this forest state away from the life of the members. And the spirit of this forest state, let God take the spirit of this forest away from him. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Lord, by the authority of the Lord, let's ask the Lord those who are discouraged. Holy Ghost, we call for them. Those who are discouraged, the power God will come for them. The Lord will gather them up again. The Lord will bring them back to life again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come upon the Lord. And let the Lord begin to work something in a mighty and a powerful way upon the life of the people. All the spirit of this is meant to be taken out of the life of the members. No more this courage may begin after this hour of victory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray for the for the members of our dear. Those who are those who have retired from service. We are going to pray that God will provide for all their need for them. And the Lord will strengthen them. Those who have retired in service over there, in Shalom Church over there, and they are part of our members. Let's speak them before the Lord. Let God provide all their need for them. And the same hour again, let the Lord God Almighty meet all their needs, physical and spiritual needs, and let God see them too. Oh, put your mouth and pray for them right now. Oh, we must pray. Call upon the Lord on their behalf. Call upon the Lord on their behalf. All those who have retired, all our members who have retired, and they are part of us. They have retired in service. Let's ask God, God will take care of them. God will provide all their needs. Age is, age is on them. The Lord will provide all their needs for them, their financial needs. Their physical needs, their material needs, even their health needs as well. God will give them good health and provide all their needs for them. In the name of Jesus, God will take care of them. In the name of Jesus, let's come upon the Lord on their behalf. The Bible says, Call upon me, I will answer you. And show you great and mighty things whose thou dost not know. Holy Ghost, we take care of this. God of heaven, we provide for all their needs. It shall be well with them. It shall be well with them. Those who age is talking, age is talking on them, God will strengthen them. God will strengthen them. 
God said you propose your life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We are going to pray. Once again, for all the children in that church, in Shadow Church over there, we pray for all those children that the Lord will help those children to grow in wisdom, to grow in knowledge. Let's commit the children into the hands of the Lord, to the children's church over there, in Shadow Church. The United States, for me, to the hands of the Lord. And all those children of that year, the Lord will help them to grow in wisdom. The Bible says, as the child grew, he was in favor with God and favor with man. And he increased his status and in wisdom. And the Lord was with him. Let's pray for all the children in that church of that year. Grow spiritually. They will grow academically. They will grow socially. They will not be stagnant in their life. The hand of the wicked will prevail over the life of the children of that year. Let's pray for divine protection for the children, church, and the children, children of that year. In that church. Let's pray God, God eyes will work for those children. They will, they will do good and do better. The Lord will bless their memory. The Lord will bless their memory. Let's commit the children to the hands of the Lord. Let God bless their memory in the name of Jesus. Let God increase them. Increase them in knowledge. Let God increase them. Increase them in understanding. Let God give them understanding more than, more than their teachers. In the name of Jesus. Let God help them and they will, they, 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 they will lead his father of this God. They will want errands for God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The prayer for the children. We are going to pray for the children in Shalom Church over there. Among the black, among the white, our children in that Shalom Church over there, they must exist. They must be the head. They must be the head. We are going to, we are going to pass a decree of all, all the children in that church over there that God will make all those children to be the head and that we exert in life. So you better pray for the children over there. They must exert in life and God will make those children to be the head in, in every ramification. In that place, they will be the head. They will occupy a better position. In the land over there, they will grow in knowledge. They will grow in wisdom. They will grow in authority. They will be among people that matter. There will be people that take decisions for the nation. Oh, we better pray. The Lord will use them for his glory. All the children over there, commit the children to the hands of the Lord. They go walk upon the hands of those children. They must be the head and they will not be the tail. The power of God we walk upon the life of the children. The eyes of God will walk upon the life of the children. They will grow in wisdom. They will grow in knowledge. They will grow in understanding. They will grow. They will grow. They will grow. They will not ever for God. Just call upon the Lord unto the eyes of the children over there. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are going to pray for the children as well. As God used Samuel, God will use them. Amen. As God used David, God will use them. Amen. We are going to pray for all the children that God, may God use them as he used David. May God use them as he used Samuel. Open your mouth and pray for the children. Open your mouth and come into the hands of the Lord. May God use our children over there as he used Samuel as a prophet in the nation. May God use them as God used Yes, it was defeat Goliath. Let's commit the children over there in the hand of God. The Spirit of God will rest upon our children over there in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, ask the Lord to use them. Pray and ask the Lord to use those children. The Lord has it upon their life for good. The power of God will work upon the life of the children. In the name of Jesus, that the authority of the Holy Ghost, let's pray for our children. Yes, the Lord will make use of them. The Lord will make use of them. Those children will draw. In the name of Jesus, those children will draw. In the name of Jesus, those children will grow. 
in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We are going to pray for all the parents of those children. We are going to commit the parents into the hands of the Lord that God Almighty will provide all their needs so that they also will be able to take care of those children. Open your mouth and pray for all the parents of those children. Let's open the parents into the hands of the Lord that God will provide all their physical needs and material needs for all those parents. Open your mouth and pray for the parents now. Commit them to the hands of the Lord. Ask the Lord to provide all the need, all their needs, material needs, financial needs, physical needs. Call upon the Lord. Those who are looking for new, uh, new appointments, God will give them new appointments. Those who are looking for a new job, God will provide for them a better job. Let's pray and let's call upon the Lord on their behalf. The Bible says, call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. The Bible says, ah, it shall be given unto you, see that ye shall find. No, it shall be opened unto you. For any who that access receive it, and he that seek it, find it. And to he that knock it, it shall be opened unto him. The Lord will provide all the physical needs and financial needs. The great provider, the great provider, we shall provide for all their needs. Instead, we pray and we call upon the Lord. It's a God of overdue. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You, you, are, you, you, you are going to pray for yourself now. You are going to pray for yourself. You will say, God, provide my physical and material needs. Oh, you must and pray for yourself now. Pray that God will provide for your own needs. Your own needs particularly. Financial needs. Domestic needs. Spiritual needs. Physical needs. All the need of your life, ask the Lord to provide for you. The Bible says, ask, what are you asking from the Lord? To ensure authority is available. What are you asking from God? Anointing is available. What are you asking from the Lord? Power is available. What are you asking? If you power is to be given, trouble possible is available. Holiness is available. Anointing of break every year is available. Financial breakthrough is available. Ask, you shall be given unto you, and you shall find. So, it shall be open unto you, and you know that access to speaking. Be among the people that ask today, and you are going to receive from the Lord. Be among the people that ask today, and the Lord will provide a woman. Only you can ask and call upon the Lord. He's going to come. Provide for your abundance. He's a king of kings. He's a lord of lords. Call upon the Lord. All that you can ask. Ask the Lord today. He's going to provide for you. Ask the Lord today. He's going to provide a promise. Ask. He shall be given unto you. Think. And he shall find. No. He shall be open unto you. For every word that accepts this today. He the people that receive this money. He are for the people that receive this money. What are your weakness? What are your petitions? What are your riches? What do you want God to do for you? What, what are your desires? What, what are you expecting from the Lord? What, what, what are you expecting from the Lord? Why can't you ask the Lord? Why can't you pray? Why can't you call upon the Lord of the Lord? He's our great provider. He will provide for you. He will take care of you. He will provide for your needs. In the name of Jesus, what are your needs? Pray and call upon the Lord. Pray and ask the Lord to work out things in your life. To provide for your needs and physical needs. What do you need? In the name of Jesus, He wants to so much. We pray. Amen.
the Bible says, I will restore to you the years the locust has eaten, the caterpillar and the cankerworm. You are going to pray. Whatever you have lost during the year, you are going to ask the Lord. This is the last Saturday of September. You are going to pray. Let God restore everything back in your family. Everything you have lost. Ask the Lord to restore them back to your life. Ask God to restore them back to your family. Ask God to restore them back to your life. I will restore to you the years that you have given me. God should open the window of heaven and I will open it for the restoration. Lord, the windows of heaven must be opened and Lord, the windows of heaven must be opened to me. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. We are going to pray. As the year is going to an end, the Lord will preserve our lives. Amen. We are going to pray that you and your household, God will keep you alive. You will not die. Yes. You will not die. Yes. The members of your family will not die. Yes. Pray for preservation yes. that God will protect you and your household. Yes. That no any member of your family will be lost. The Lord will preserve you, preserve your household, and keep you and your household alive as the year is going to attain. Lord, <laughs> Father, Lord, we need protection from our poor father. I will go out and come in. Lord, let your mercy hand be upon us. Lord, guard us and protect us and cover us with the blood of Jesus. All the weapons of the blood of Jesus. And Lord, let us know you. All the weapons of the enemy of the Lord. All the weapons of the enemy Weapon the enemies, Father, Lord, that they have done, Father, they saw all their power, all their forces, they work and they and my and my pray. We are going to pray any of our members that the devil has been oppressing in the night and they cannot sleep, back pain, body pain. We are going to pray for all those the devil has been harassing and tormenting. And they are connected on this, on this online prayer. Let's pray God will deliver them. The it's Bible says for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he may destroy the works of the devil. Oh, for your mouth and pray. Oh, all those the devil have been oppressed. Or be this or all the time. The whatever the enemy has been oppressed. All the oh, day in the life. Father Lord, I say the Lord has been oppressed. Father Lord, all the oppression in my life. Father Lord, I say the Lord has been oppressed. Father Lord, let your mercy be upon me and deliver me from the power 
The Bible says, Ye shall serve the Lord and thy God. He shall bless thy water and thy bread. He shall take sicknesses away from the midst of thee. You are going to pray that all those who are all those who have been aff- afflicted with sickness in our midst, let God force them, let God heal them. And let God take all sicknesses and all disease, all affliction away from the life of His people. Oh, you want to pray for them? Those who are sick now, those who are strong, those who have been sick before sickness or the other, let our God to heal them and God to deliver them. The Bible says God sent out the storm. In Jesus' name, He delivered them from the oppression. Let us be able to deliver those who have been oppressed, those who have been beat, those who have been attacked. Oh, God, God. Put the power of the Lord to touch our body, the power of the Lord to touch our body, and the power of the Lord to touch our body, and put our body in Jesus. Call upon the Lord, Father Lord, Father Lord, you shall call upon unto you, and you will answer Jesus. Call upon me, and break everything, every yoke in my life. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. For the remaining days of this year, you will walk in dominion. Amen. Amen. You are going to pray for the remaining days of this year to cross over to next year, that God will give you constant victory. Constant victory. For the remaining days of this year, God will give you dominion. For the remaining days of this year, God will take you to the next level. Oh, we want to pray right now. Oh, we want to pray. Oh, to go. For the remaining days of this year, let God give you the video. Let God give you victory. Let God take the next level. No weakness in your life. Authority in your life. Energy in your life. Power in your life. Let God connect you. Let God take to the next level. For the remaining days of this year, you will walk in victory. For the remaining days of this year, you will, you will walk in victory. Because of what is God and let God Take you to a new, to the next level. Let me walk in my Jesus. Let God help me. God help me. God help me. God help me. And let me walk in my victory. 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 Let me walk in my 
Father, Lord, help me to walk in my We pray. Amen. Amen. Let's now pray for all the ministers God has been using on this online prayer meeting. Let's pray for them, that God will strengthen them, that we uphold them. The Spirit of God we abide upon them, we continue to use them. For all the ministers, what are you using? This online prayer meeting, let's be more than the end of the Lord. Let's pray for the ministers, let us uphold them, let us strengthen them, let us use them, let us give them all the joy. Pray for all the ministers right now. For me, the prayer of the Lord, the advice of God will go to their lives, the power of in the name of Jesus, in Jesus mighty name. We pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's open our mouth. Let's bless the Lord. Let's thank Him that He has helped us this hour of prayer. 
Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the prayer. Just give me the
saved. Mm. All circumstances that is covering the, world, the eyes of the wife, that is covering the eyes of the husband, that do not let them enjoy their marriage. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ today, you are going to put away in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, my children, I pray for that husband or wife that they are thinking of remarriage. That is not that first in your dictionary, oh God. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You are going to remove anything that first, anything separation, anything go on your way from their life in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will breathe into their marriage in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Oh my mm -hmm. Father, for those particular people that have been working in the ministry and it's like it's stressful. It's like where is the what was the the benefit of serving God. It's like I should withdraw. It's like no, this is not the thing I'm thinking of meeting. I, I, I'm thinking of meeting on this journey. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. That the one that give them the ministry. They are going to be prosper in that ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, Jesus Christ, you will leave the head of everybody that is on now this line. You will leave their head up in the, in the ministry in Jesus' name. They have been wedded for many years, for more than 20 years. Now they have only one baby and it remain all that they are in it's like no more child. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus, and they are asking, whenever you ask them, we are looking on to God. Whenever they are asking them, they are, we are looking on to God. And within them, the time is going. Oh, my sister, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You that provided child for Abraham, you provided for Isaac. You will bring it into them, you, they will have their own new baby in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Jesus Christ, where there is no hope in their life, oh, my sister, you will bring up in to their life, including the child bearing in Jesus' name. Oh, they are having leadership, leaders meeting today. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You will breathe into that meeting. And the way the Christianity will move on, we move on in this country. Father, you will give them wisdom and understanding to do it in Jesus' name. Amen. And the power and the blood of Jesus Christ for that particular leader that is sick. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. You are going to breathe into him and you are going to heal him today in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh, my father, you are going to say, the people will not believe if there's no strength. The sign of this is my child. You will put on that brother in today in the name of Jesus, in the Jesus name. Amen. By the power of the blood of Jesus, you will heal him perfectly in Jesus name. So that you be in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank Amen. you, O Lord, because you are the Lord that answers prayers. In Thank Jesus you, name we pray. Amen. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Spectacular gift, O oh Lord. Significant gift, O oh Lord. There's nobody has ever seen. Almighty oh Father, as these people we are departing from this prayer meeting today, you will give into the life of every one of us in Jesus' name. That we will be changing this in our life. And this is testimony we fool our mouth. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord that answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's share the grace together. May the grace, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Sure. Goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and it shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. 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 Please, anybody that has prayer requests, you can be putting it on our website, www.deeperlibrarywithchurchchallotfee. You can put your prayer request there, you can put your testimony there. And as we are doing so, God is going to help us in Jesus' name. Or you send them to the pastors. And the grace of the Lord will be with us in Jesus' name. Thank Amen. you. Bye-bye. We shall meet on Thursday. Thank you. Amen. God bless you. Amen.